Welcome to the Philippines, one of the world's most beautiful countries filled with the world's friendliest people. We will be taking you on a journey through the heart and soul of the Philippines, from its mouth-watering street food to the more exotic cuisines too. Mahang-hang, spicy! Forging friendships with the locals tarana, tarana. and diving into the underwater world as well. This is incredible! The Philippines is filled with unforgettable bucket list experiences. We have the world's smallest boat and it is truly paradise paradise on earth. And in this video, we're going to show you why it's so easy to love the Philippines. Welcome back to the Philippines! <laughs> I can't actually believe that we are back after a full year of being away. We had the most insane four months here. We went to the islands, the cities, we had incredible food. So we're going to start today here in Rizal Park, right next to the beautiful Rizal Monument. Jose Rizal was a nationalist, a writer and a hero here in the Philippines. And I think it is a perfect place for us to start today. We're going to go out, we're going to explore. And one thing that we miss the most is the incredible Filipino street food. So we're going to go and find that, but we need to find some way to get there. Hello. Do you know where Quiapo Market is? You don't know? Do you know the Quiapo Market? You know? I think it's this way? Yes. You can yes. take a jeepney? Yes. If we walk this way or this way? This way. This way. Say hi to the vlog. Say hello. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Oh uh, yes, let's take a picture together. Shiv and Dev. <laughs> nice to meet you. Thank you for your help. Thank you. Salamat po. Bye bye. I'm not sure what they were saying, but they were super helpful as always. They just make me so happy. I'm so happy to be back. You can literally talk to any Filipino and they will help you and they will be super energetic and excited. So our goal for today is we want to get to Kiapo Market, which we heard there is so much delicious street food, but we have no idea how to get there. Those kind kids said we need to go down this way. Hopefully we can get a jeepney or something. Good morning. Hello, good morning. <laughs> oh, you see? Mango, ube, yes. and avocado. Wow, it looks great. Mango ice cream. Ice cream for <gasps> breakfast? Mango yes. Is it oh, good? Yeah. <laughs> Is it good? It's good. <laughs> Cup or cone? cone? These guys look good with the cone. One <laughs> cone is about 40 pesos. Uh -huh. Small cone is 20 pesos. Let's do small cone. 20 pesos. Oh, okay. Thank you. A mango, please. Oh. Mango looks delicious. Oh. How do you say Masarap. delicious in uh, Filipino? Masarap. Masarap? Oh, yeah. Oh. Number one. Number one, Number one Masarap. Masarap. <laughs> I like that. Where, where are you from? South Africa. Wow. Good. Yeah. Are you from Manila? Yes. Wow. How long have you been here? Uh, only 25 years about. 25 years? Yeah. It's a long time. Yeah. Thank you so much. Salamat po. Welcome. Welcome. 50 peso. Yeah. Uh, no change, po. Oh, thank yes. you. Yes. You thank can you. keep it. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you, Have thank a you good for day. teaching us some yeah. Filipino. <laughs> How do we say goodbye? Goodbye. Paalam. 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 Okay. Paalam. Pa 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 thank, thank you, po. See you soon. Goodbye. See you soon. Bye bye. Enjoy your ice cream. <laughs> Mango ice cream on our first day. Every single person that we meet is just fantastic. And Hello. mango ice cream. Hello. Hello. Hello pa. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, I'm so happy to be back. <laughs> also, side note, mango ice cream for 20 peso. It's amazing. The fruit in the Philippines is some of the best in the world. Hello. We got some ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> nice, to nice to meet, meet you again. <laughs> Our new friend. This is the best mango ice cream I've ever had. <laughs> it's so, so good. It's so lovely to just go out and meet the most incredible people. Every single person that you meet is kind, friendly, helpful. And this is why we love the Philippines. Mm. Masarap. I like it. No, thank you. How do we get to Kiapo Market? Kiapo. Kiapo. You have to give me. Jeepney. Yeah. Yes. Can you have the right doors? Uh, no, no, jeepney. Jeepney, no. Over there. So we go on the other side yeah, of the road? Side. And how, how long does it take? Only 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Yeah. Okay. And how much? What is the price? 10 pesos. 10 pesos? Wow. wow. It's a good price. Yeah. Okay. Okay, <laughs> we, thank you. We so take we a wait, jeepney. We wait over there. Other side. Okay, thank you so much. Salamat, Salamat po. po. Wow, we take a jeepney. Okay. For 10 pesos, look, look at the Look at the horses. awesome carriage. No way. Hey, little guys. Kamusta po? Kamayo yeah. is a horse. Wow. wow. No, no, it's okay. we will take a jeepney. Maybe we'll try next time. 
Next time Maybe you'll later. try. <laughs> Are you the, the horse driver? Yeah. Oh, okay. The Philippines has been one of our favorite countries in the entire world that we were lucky enough to visit twice. But since we've been traveling for the past four years, not everything goes to plan. That's why we would like to thank Safety Wing for partnering with us on this video and keeping us safe no matter where we go. Sometimes we can't always anticipate what will go wrong. Like missed flights in Nepal, food poisoning in India, food poisoning in the Philippines, getting altitude sickness on Mount Everest base camp can be really scary. But luckily, Safety Wing has been able to cover us in all the countries that we visit. Plus, if you're a digital nomad, a remote worker, a vacationer, or a travel YouTuber like us, you are covered in over 175 countries, up to $250,000. Safety Wing is an affordable and reliable medical insurance covering medical emergencies, evacuations, lost luggage, canceled flights, and so much more. You can get coverage for just $45 a month, so you have no worries and more travel. Not to mention that everything is 100 100% online, so when we switch countries, we have no problems. So be safe on your travels and click the link below to sign up for Safety Wing now. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, I think I see a jeepney. Oh, five seconds, five seconds. Go, go, go. Oh, here's a jeepney. Okay. Call it, girl. I don't know how to call it. <laughs> Hello. Uh, can we go to Kiapo Market? This way? Okay, thank you. Oh, quick. This is crazy. So this is obviously the best way to get around Manila. It's actually our second time taking this. The first time was in Cebu City. It's only 10 pesos each. I'm sure you're wondering about the payment. Everyone just passes their payment along to the driver. And then when you want to get out, you just knock on the roof. <laughs> Then Straight all the way down here? Okay, thank you so much. Salamat po. This is amazing. We have made it all the way from Rizal Park to Kiapo Market. We haven't opened Google Maps. We have just asked people. Everyone was helpful and it was only 10 pesos each. So let's cross over here. It is so busy. They've got all sorts of things. They've got stalls, phone covers, fruit. Food. This is the Manila I have been waiting to see. We're from South Africa. Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, it's Sweet and sour. Okay, pass around. We all come and get some. What is this? Lazones. You want to taste it and you like it. Really? Oh my gosh. Don't bite the seed. Huh? No seed? Oh yeah, don't bite the don't seed. Bite. It's it looks... only in the Philippines. Only in the Philippines. Only in the Philippines. It looks like a like a lychee. Like a lychee. What's the name? Lanzones. Lanzones. Mazarab. Mazarab. It's delicious. But it definitely tastes like a lychee. I've never seen this. They are a little heavy. Uh, how much? One hundred half kilo. One hundred half a kilo. Fifty one quarter. Half a, a quarter? We only want a oh, few. Just a few. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Zero. Fifty pesos only. Fifty pesos. Fifty pesos. Okay. Thank you so much. It's only in the Philippines. Thank Salamat you. Po. Thank you. Thank Salamat you. Po. He let me try one. It's so that good. That was so sweet. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, they they big 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 oh, there's big pocket. Oh, there's big pocket. Really? Yeah. It's dangerous? Yeah, thank you. Put the bag in the front. Okay, okay. we must listen. <laughs> Thank you so much. We've been here for about a minute <laughs> and everybody's just been so kind to us. We haven't even made our way into the market. This is a rambutan which we've had many times before. Probably the most similar thing to a lychee and you can see inside it has the pip as well. It is delicious, it's sweet, kind of like a fuzzy lychee. So fuzzy. I love them. After <laughs> only a minute. You're back. I will do it now. Thank you so much. I've seen everybody with these. Yeah, I don't know. 
Whoa. The energy here is electric. There are so many people just going up and down. You can buy absolutely anything. Lots of fruit. There's toys, there's clothes. People everywhere. Hello, sorry, ma'am. <laughs> I love it. I'm so happy to be here. And I wanted to come to this kind of energy where there's just so many people. Since it's mid-morning right now and we've come to the market, we've got to find some things to eat. We're currently in like the fruit and veg section. Hello. Get you in the vlog. Thank Welcome you. to the vlog. Thank you, Paul. How do I say let's go in Filipino? Tarana. 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 Okay. Let's Thank you. Go. Tarana. I like that. <laughs> Tarana. Let's go. I like it. Tarana. 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 <laughs> Thank you. Tarana. I'm happy to be here. Philippines is very good. Yes. Tarana. Hello. Hello. It is the only country that we've been to that has energy like this. Every single person is super high energy. Everyone's so kind to us. Oh my god. So hi, Simon. I'm just smiling from here to here. I love the Filipinos so much. <laughs> Thank you for welcoming us. When we first came to Manila, we used to think that this kind of market or environment was crazy. But after you've been in places like Delhi, Yeah, um, this is really, really nice to come back to, I must be honest. <laughs> Everybody's so friendly. Hey, you're beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> they want to chat to you and socialize. The Philippines is definitely a place to make some new friends. <laughs> what is this? I don't know. It's like a buffet? I don't know what it is, but it looks delicious. Everybody is waiting. They're lining up for something. There's one guy in the middle. There's lots of food around in big dishes. <laughs> and then everybody's sitting around, kind of in like a buffet style. And he's just serving dish after dish. Look how many people are standing here. Palabo. Palabo. Oh, it's noodles? Yeah. Noodles with egg. It's good, delicious. Masarap? <laughs> so it's kind of like thin noodles with egg. Okay, we should try one. Why not? It looks too good. Can we order the soup? Yes. yes. With egg, with pork? Uh, with pork? What do you recommend? With pork? Uh, I suggest over here. Over Okay. Oh. Is one enough? Do you want to share yeah, one? Let's have yeah, one. let's get one. Is that okay? <laughs> One sota on overload. Yes. Overload. What? So what's inside? Egg, pork? Yes. And vegetables. Vegetables. Oh. Sounds fantastic. Okay. We're paying. 80 pesos? Yes. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Why do you call it overload? Uh, all the ingredients in one. Oh, okay. I like that. I like it. I like it. <laughs> okay, we got our seat. Okay, this is us here. Yeah? So she took our order for the overload, which I think is one of the most popular soups I've ever seen. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Paul. <laughs> oh, no, a little bit. <laughs> thank you, Paul. Wow. Oh, thank you. I think we found the stall at the perfect time because now it is pouring with rain and we just got our seats and we're now having uh, it's it's raining a lot right and we just got our fantastic soup it's boiling hot and we got a little soup on the side and it's got everything egg pork vegetables soup broth. This is perfect for a rainy day. Mm, I can smell loads of black pepper. I want to eat some, but it's boiling hot. <laughs> the best part about this is it's just a social event. Like everybody is around the tables, everybody's talking to each other. And even though it's raining, everyone's just enjoying themselves. What is that? Rice cake. Rice cake, okay. I can't wait to try this, but I think it's going to be hot. First taste, it is very hot. Mm. Oh, it's absolutely delicious. Yeah, it's so good. It is so good. It kind of has like a pepper sauce taste. Yeah, loads of pepper. Another kind of noodle. She said it's a Santangon noodle, so it's different to the pensit noodle. The flavor of this broth is just unbelievable. We've got some meat, we've got a whole egg, and of course the broth. Is this the spicy sauce? Is it good? 
How do I say spicy in Filipino? Maang hang. Okay, okay, thank you. It's good? Delicious? Okay, so we like spicy food, which in Filipino we just learned is maang hang. Look at this giant jug of spicy sauce. I love the vibe at this place. If you're feeling sick, this is the perfect dish to have. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, Paul. Wow, that was awesome. Wow, that was incredible. But it was actually so hot sitting underneath there, so I really need to get something ice cold to drink. Oh, it's raining again. It's raining. It's raining again. This is rainy season in the Philippines. Even if there's a storm, nothing stops the people from going out. Like, everything's still <laughs> normal life. And I love that. That's like the best part about the Philippines. Rain or shine, people still have a smile on their face. We need something to drink. So we've seen this guy. I don't know what this is. Hello. Kamusta? What is this? Hi. Buko. Is it coconut? Yes. Coconut. Coconut juice. How much? Ten pesos for what? Wow, it's a good price. <laughs> Buko is you coconut. You can see in here, it's just pure coconut juice. It's some ice. Wow. And even though it's raining, it's still hot today. It's hot, but it's raining every day. So 10 pesos for one of these. There's buko juice and there's pineapple juice. Hello, little buggy. <laughs> we made a friend. Don't put your hand in. <laughs> oh no, she put her hand in it. Here's 20. Can I have one more? Oh. Yeah, you can have this one. You can have it. She's so sweet. You can have it. You can have this one. You don't like it? It's not messed up? Mm. Oh, it's so good. Super, super sweet. I like it. Masa wrap. Masa wrap. Oh, drink now, drink. You can drink. You can have it. Oh, delicious. Oh, delicious. Mm. Masa wrap. Masa wrap. Oh, shit. Masa wrap. Oh, shit. Oh. So sweet. Say thank you. Brother and sister. Oh. oh. It's delicious. So Yummy. good. Yummy. Masa wrap. <laughs> we drink together. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Bye-bye. Even though it's raining like crazy, look how busy it is. There are so many people. Let's see what's down here. Even though it's raining, you just want to go out exploring, see what else you can find. This time I'm so excited to go to new places that we missed previously when we were here in the Philippines and to just make more videos and this time we're going to be making shorts as well so if you haven't already go and watch our shorts we're going to be making lots of different content that doesn't always make it onto the long form videos and give us a like there as well what is this one pork pork and beef pork and beef, pork and beef. Oh, oh, okay yummy. is yummy masa wrap ah, okay. can we have one or two it comes in a little bowl oh, like this? Five pieces. Oh, five, five pieces. pieces. Wow. How much? 50 pesos. 50 pesos. Okay. Do you want some? Yeah. Okay. Any flavor. What do you recommend? What's your favorite? Different. Japanese. Japanese? Oh, what what oh. is this one? It's a Japanese. It's shark fin. Shark fin? Shark fin? This is shark fin. It's a shark fin. This one. Oh my gosh. That's no interesting. Ways. I don't know if I can eat shark fin. <laughs> I'll, I'll try one. Okay. Can we have one shark fin? Okay, and then, and then pork. Pork. pork, beef, beef. beef. Okay, <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> Maybe pork. Maybe more pork. Yeah. We like the pork. pork. I've never tried shark fin no. before. No, are you about to? Where's the shark from? Is the shark from Manila Bay? <laughs> <laughs> from Cebu. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Chili. Oh, chili. Calamansi, chili, and garlic. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay, it looks good. Thank you so much. Salamat, po. So this is po? Pork. Beef. Shark fin. Shark fin from shark Cebu. Yeah. Shark from Cebu. <laughs> what do you recommend? The spicy sauce? Garlic, spicy sauce. Okay, garlic and spicy sauce. Why not? Which is your favorite? Pork. Pork. Not the shark fin. No. <laughs> The pork is so good. Oh, it looks yummy. Mm. How long have you been here? 35 years. 35 years? Wow. 35 years. Wow. It's a long time. But you look so young. Very young. 
<laughs> you look so young. It's good? You don't like it? <laughs> bye bye. Salamat, thank you, Po. I haven't even begun to think about what the shark fin might taste like. Yeah, I'm nervous about I'm that nervous one. I'm nervous about that one. What a day to just go out and eat street food while it's raining, chat to everybody. We're having the most insane first day. So even though it's pouring with rain, something that I do need to get is a haircut. And I've just asked this gentleman, he said, apparently down this street, I can get one. I don't know if I should wait a few minutes because it's Look pouring. At Look at these kids playing in the rain. They are just having the best time. I think we're actually in something called Typhoon Ige that's just swept over Manila. And we are like smack bam in the middle of Typhoon Ige. Yes. Yes, we have luggage. You want to be in the video? <laughs> even though it is pouring with rain, Everybody is still super happy. They've always got a smile on their face. The kids are having an absolute blast. It's kind of like the simple things in life that make you the happiest. And that's why we love the Philippines so much. It's just everybody is happy no matter what the circumstances. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so cute. And the little guy. We walk down here and then cross the road. I can get a haircut. Okay. What do you think, girl? You and your friends? You're having so much fun. Goodbye. Nice to meet you. The unpredictable thing about being in a typhoon is you don't know if it's going to stop, if it's going to continue. continue. What's going to happen? Okay, we're going to cross the street over here. What do you think? Uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, our umbrella's blowing away. Go, 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 go. This is absolutely crazy. It's crazy. Every day. Every day. It's crazy. Our umbrella like almost blew away. Can I get a haircut? Down here? Okay, we're gonna try. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. They're all laughing at us. This is so funny. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I can't believe we're on a mission to find a haircut for you. And In the middle like, of a typhoon? In the middle of a typhoon. <laughs> is there somewhere I can get a haircut? Down here? Yeah. Down this way. Haircut. Down here. Okay, thank you so much. Surely we can find the... Oh, there! Barbershop! Oh, Jay. Jan Ray Barbershop. Jan Ray Barbershop, okay. yes! Okay, cross, 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 cross! Cross, cross! Okay, that's the one. Okay. Can I get a haircut? Yes, come on. Yeah? Hello! Thank you. What is your name? My name is Abraham. Abraham. It's raining a lot. Yeah. Every day. Every day. It's crazy. <laughs> I was running in the rain. To find you. So does it rain like this every year? Twenty-six typhoons in one year. All letters. Yes, all the letters of the <laughs> alphabet. <laughs> what a crazy first day we've had. I know, right? Ah, very good. How do I say good in Okay, lang. Okay, lang. <laughs> okay, okay, lang. Okay, lang. Okay, lang. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for how much? Uh, 80. 80. Oh, wow. Very cheap. Wow. Good wow. Price. Really good price. You can have 100. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You, so much. You. Yes. you look good. Thank you. Good haircut. How do you say handsome? Guapo. Guapo? Yeah, guapo. Yeah, guapo. Uh, you guapo. He's guapo. We guapo together. Yeah, both of you. Okay. Both of guapo. you. Thank you so much. Bye Salamat. bye. Bye bye. Maganda. Maganda. Bye-bye. Wow, what a good haircut. You look so good. Happy. Yeah. Guapo? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what an unreal day we've had today. 80 pesos. That's 80 pesos. so good. I remember getting a haircut in El Nido and it was 150. And I remember you guys saying that was too much. And this guy didn't overcharge, only 80 pesos. The good hair job. looks great. Look at that. Guapo. Guapo. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I want to take a try short to Rizal Park. So far, how much do you think it is? Uh, what are you going to take? A, a, a try? Right? Yeah. Like that? Yes. Yeah. I think they're going to cost uh, 150 or 200 bucks. 150? Like that. Okay. It's up to that, that try. You may okay. Like, okay. But it's good to know a price. Yes. It's just more shape and depth. What's the price? 
Oh, subscribe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. My name is Bong. Nice to meet Bong. you. Bong. Nice, nice to meet to you. Meet Bong. you. Okay. Thank yes. you so much. Have Take a good day. Have a Hello. Hello. <laughs> Shout out. Can we go to Rizal Park? <laughs> Rizal Park. 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 Rizal Park.
This is so much fun. They actually like put like little stepping stones for the puddle so they could help me into Rizal Park and they're making good money from it. I actually can't believe what's happening, but it is pure teamwork out here. Quick, we're going back. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's go, go home. Daily life in the Philippines. Oh no. Oh, my feet. Am I gonna make it? I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Thank you. Oh my gosh, what a lifesaver. It's actually like halfway up my leg. Oh my gosh. That's how that's how deep the water is. Even after Devin carrying me, I still did this to my shoes. Oh, not happy. This is the situation right now. Wow! We are just smack bam in this busy market. It's raining, there's fruit stalls, there's clothes stalls, and I already know that it's gonna be a vibe. We're gonna look for some awesome street food, something to drink maybe, and hopefully some nice people to chat to. <laughs> See some street food here. Hello, come with that. Hello, come with that. What is the name? Chicken balls. Chicken balls. Yes. Do chickens it's have good. balls? Yes. <laughs> Masarap? Siyempre, masarap yan. Chicken, chicken balls. balls. Chicken balls, then kick yam, okay, hot dog, yung ano sausage. Yung... Ah, so sausage. it's like a little hot dog yes. in here, sausages. Yes. And sausage. you say it's masarap. Masarap. What's your name? Paul. Paul. Yes. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. Paul. Nice to meet you. Okay. Yeah, we need an umbrella. It's raining. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is so crazy. Paul's getting his umbrella ready. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. <laughs> I love your energy. I know. Paul's in such a good mood. Even though it's raining, he's happy. <laughs> oh, that's better. Thank oh, you. Wow. That's so much now better. Now we organize. Oh. Wow. <laughs> the wind is, is food, blowing. Paul? Yes. <laughs> I love this little stand he's got here. Yes. What is this? Melon juice. Melon juice? Yes. Okay, so we've got some melon juice. And this is like a sauce. What is Vinegar. Then. Vinegar. Onion sauce, vinegar. Oh, it's a mix. We're gonna have to try something from Paul. The because... melon juice looks so good. What do you want? I'll try a chicken bowl. Okay. Ah, 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 ah. Paul's in such a good mood. Paul's in the vlog. A vlogger. Are you a vlogger? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How does it work? Seven pieces for 20 pesos only. So I choose it myself? Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. Serve yourself. So seven pieces for how much? Seven pieces for 20 pesos only. 20 pesos for seven chicken bowls. Can I get three? Yes, three for only there for ten. Three for ten. Three pesos for ten. You want one? You no, want he doesn't want. <laughs> Do you want one? You like it? Masarap? Masarap. Go back around. Choose your own. Which three should I choose? Yeah. They're kind of like a soft, squishy texture. This is crazy. You get to choose your own. You want one? Okay. Masarap yan. Wow, Masarap. so good. Three for ten. Oh, they're hot. What do you want to sell? Spicy, sweet, or vinegar? Vinegar. Onion. Vinegar? This one? Sweet. Sweet. This one, sweet and spicy. Sweet and what spicy. Do you want? Go for vinegar. Vinegar. Yeah. Okay. Vinegar. Can I give this back? Spice or more? Uh, Many. Or more? Uh, slight. Slight. Oh. Slight. <laughs> a little bit. Okay. Do you want a stick? Yes, let's have a stick. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> Lots of customers. This is good. You want it? Come on, come on, come on, yes. You like it? Yes. <laughs> so as soon as you put the chicken balls like in the Sir, come on. Seven pairs more than this only. As soon as you put the chicken balls in the sauce, they kind of shrivel out. Obviously they've been in the oil, so they're big and puffy. Let me taste it. Let me give my recommendation. Paul is such a vibe. <laughs> Let me try the famous Paul's chicken balls. Paul's chicken balls? Paul's chicken balls. That's what we're eating today. Yummy? Yummy. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Ooh. Is that hot? But they're so hot. Oh dear. <laughs> Sir, you want this? 
Do you want one? I'll buy okay. one for you. I'll buy for you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I'll buy one for you. How okay. many do you want? Seven, seven pesos for twenty pesos only. What if you want? buy, if you buy seven, oh. twenty pesos. Okay, okay. I'll buy one for you. Thank you, thank you. You like it? I like your hat. Towel, towel. It's a towel. <laughs> you must have the vinegar. It's the best. I work for Paul. Paul is my boss. <laughs> no, your boss. <laughs> Paul is my boss. I'm making sales for Paul. <laughs> You're a good salesman. We eat together. It's delicious. Masarap. Um, a little bit. You could just have a few of these on the way while you do your shopping. And you can support Paul at the same time. Paul's chicken bowl. <laughs> Paul's chicken bowl. Yes. <laughs> quick, quick. You like it? Uh, we had quick quick in Shagao. Masarap. We can eat it together. Yes. What do you want, Mom? Like How Good. many? Nice to meet you. Thank you. Have a good day. Enjoy your chicken bowl. Bye bye. No, thank you. It's too early for beer. Too early for beer. <laughs> thank you, Paul. Salamat. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. <laughs> 10 for me and 20 for my friend. Uh, 30 so it's 30 pesos. Okay, yeah. you can have 50. You can, you can keep it. You can keep it. Uh, thank you, thank you thank Paul. You. Thank you so thank much. You. YouTube. 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 Follow, 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 follow. Follow, follow. Hello. We're making lots of friends. Subscribe. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank have you a good day. Thank you, Paul. Salamat. Shout out. Hello. Paalam. <laughs> Paalam. Thank you, Paul. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Holy moly. So, we are having the most incredible experience after just arriving. What is this guy selling ice cream? There is so much energy, and even though it's been pouring with rain, people just come out of nowhere and just join. And also so supportive, like, yeah. let's follow you. They just want to follow and join in. I absolutely love it. I love the Philippines. <laughs> there's toys, there's ice cream. Also, so many people are here, even though it's raining. Their business has still got to go. So they're out here selling. The energy here is electric. There are so many people. And we got some fruits on this side. We can buy clothes, some stationery over here. I love it. <laughs> it's I look like Barbie. I'm just a girl in the world. Life is fantastic. You can brush my hair. Take me anywhere. Hey, Paul, you're back. <laughs> this is one. Hello. 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 Hello, Tarana. So this is one of the reasons why I absolutely love Manila is because you just get everything. You have markets like this, which are just full of energy and vibrant. And there's just so much going on one street. You can buy anything. People are moving supplies around. There's cars, there's jeepneys. Hello. How much? 15. 1 5. 1 5 for a donut. Masara? Yes. Okay. Can I try one? Oh, wow. Here is. 20. You can keep it. Thank you so much. Can I take a pic? Yes, of course. Thank you. I saw you in Facebook. Oh, wow. Thank you for watching. We casually got a donut that's about to be soggy in the rain. First time having a Filipino donut. They all say it's yummy. And it is. Right now, we're going to try and find a jeepney or a trish or something that's going to take us to a different part of Manila crossing the street. So far, this has been such a fun little day out. We're going to try and get a tri show or something to the train station. Hello. Where are you going? Uh, I want to go to Lawton Station. Lawton Station, Lawton. yeah. Hey. You yeah. get a tricycle? Yeah. How much? Yeah. 200, all of you. 200. Wow, what about expensive. How much to Lawton Station? When? When? Uh, Lawton Station. Lawton Station? Lawton. I don't know. Lawton. 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 Oh. How, how much? 200. 200. No, maybe if, if you want to ride a uh, tricycle, maybe 200. 200 is a good price? Yeah. Okay, it's a good price. She's, she says it's a good price. 200. Yeah. Okay. Bye bye. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you for your help. Where are you from? 
South Africa. Same. Yes. Nice to meet you too. What's your name? Shirley. Shirley, nice to meet you. Yeah. This one's ours. Careful, my girl. This is ours. This is ours. We are in the tuk tuk. We're going to Lawton Station. Lawton, Lawton Station. Yes. You know where to go. It looks like the ones from India. This is so cool because no matter what the weather is, you've got some curtains, you've got a roof so you don't get wet. Thank you. I found a friend. I want to go to BGC. I can go in here? Yes. Where, where do I get off? Market, market. Market, market. Yes. Okay. okay, and then I can walk to BGC. Okay, how much? Uh, 10, 10, 20, 16. I will ask the driver. Okay. What is your name? Andrew. Andrew. Thank you so much, Andrew. Nice to meet you. Can I take a picture in the front? I can take? Okay. This is our mode of transport for today. Good photo. <laughs> I'm going to get in right now and we're going to head to BGC. This is such a crazy day. But how cool is this? They're like kind of still keeping these from the World War, but now they're actually taxi. Pretty cool. We made it into the deepney and the best part about being in the Philippines is you can just ask anybody and they'll help you. I'm not sure how much it costs but we're going to take this jeepney to Market Market which I think is one of the train stations and then we're going to walk from there to Bonifacio High Street. So this is by far the best way to get around Manila and I absolutely love it because you kind of feel like you're just a part of the vibe and the energy of everyone and everybody has this kind of trust system where you just pass your money forward to the driver and everyone kind of just knows exactly where they need to get off. We have no idea where to get off so this could be interesting. And welcome to BGC. What a massive difference this is compared to where we just were. Right now we're walking through a, it looks like a pop-up market. And when we were here last time, it was like peak, peak COVID, which was over a year ago. So this pretty much didn't exist last time. And it's actually so nice to see so much. Everyone's out and about, everyone's buying stuff. There's street food, there's clothes, there's jewelry. Mm, lots of nice clothes actually. It is so strange to go from the loud and busy contrast this morning in Divisoria to this where it's so quiet. Hello. It feels so strange because we had such a lot of noise and especially in the jeepney as well. But now it's quiet, it's peaceful and this is kind of the different sides and what we were saying, the different contrast that you get here in Manila. The noise gives you an energy where this is more like relaxed, you kind of want to go to a bakery or a cafe. There's so many like nice quaint little shops here. It's so quiet, so peaceful. We can definitely say goodbye to the lovely 20 peso and 10 peso prices because I promise you nothing here is going to be as cheap as it was this morning. I think this is the perfect time to just sit down, wind down and have a delicious coffee. And it's crazy because we were having chicken balls in the rain in Divisoria and now we're having a delicious coffee in BGC and it's pouring with rain right now. And now we're having a delicious coffee watching the rain instead of being in it. <laughs> So you can see the contrast here is completely different to this morning. There are lots of high-end shops. There are business building blocks behind me. This 3D screen, which is just madness compared to where we were this morning. And we just wanted to show you all the different sizes that you get here in Manila. And I think that is why we love this city. We then flew all the way to Cebu City. And today we're doing something super, super fun. We're actually going island hopping, which is just a hop and a skip away from Cebu City, which happens to be the oldest city in the Philippines. And you wouldn't think that you'd find the most gorgeous just islands right here by the city. I think we're gonna be really really surprised today. So first things first we're gonna hop onto the boat and go to our first island. This is super exciting and it seems to be pretty busy too. Our boat is here already but it's not this one it's the next one so we have to get on this boat and walk through it to get to the next one. <laughs> and it's the connecting flight. Connecting flight. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. 
I love it. I love Filipino style. <laughs> and this is our lovely guide, Miss Belle. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. This is Tini. Uh, nice to morning. meet you. My friend. Nice to He's a yeah. very uh, good in photographer. Oh, you're a photographer. Yeah. Yes, I love it. <laughs> okay, this is my turn. Yeah, okay, slowly. It's slowly and yeah. Wow. Okay, I love the Filipino way. <laughs> Thank you so much. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. This is so cool. Okay, so this is not our boat. <laughs> we are the next boat. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Oh, we made it. So this is our boat. <laughs> Just had a short connecting flight, short transfer. We're already here. First, I learned to go snorkeling. Encounter with the big fishes, the jackfish. The parrotfish wear this life vest or a island. They like to go to the toilet and this one. Okay. <laughs> this is the toilet. <laughs> Because we've been in Manila and Cebu City, where we've been exploring the food and the markets. Tarana! <laughs> and normally you think I need to travel really far to go to these islands, but you can take a short 30 minute ride away from Lapu Lapu to the islands. So today we have an exciting tour. We are going to three different islands today. The first one, which we have just arrived at. Are you our captain? No, he's captain. Oh, you're the captain. What's your name? Norwin. 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 Yeah. Nice to meet you. The ship of the island is like a shark. So there's a lot of houses at the back, at the back of this island. Our boatmen are living here. So they are from the island. Kamusta? Kamusta. 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 We live in the island. What's the name? We win. We win. You live here? Yeah. You live on this island? Yeah. Wow, how many people live here? Uh, 1,004. More than 1,000 people. Wow, you were born here? Yeah. Wow, amazing. I like your house. This one is a school. There's a school right yeah. down here. Did you go to school here? Yeah, too, yeah, yeah. Amazing. You have a beautiful home. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah small home. Small, small home. home. Wow, thank you for showing me. Yeah, yeah. We're going to three islands yeah, yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and we have lunch on the third island. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The last one. Ba'asuan. Nalasuan. Nalasuan. And we have this whole boat to ourselves. What is the name of the boat? Shaya. 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 Shaya is the name of the boat. What do you call this boat in Filipino? Banao boat? Bumboat. 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 Yeah. So we're on a big bumboat today, but there are only four of us on the tour, so we have like pretty much the whole boat to ourselves. The last time we were in such beautiful water was in the Philippines last year. I mean, I've never ever seen such crystal clear, perfect water. I just can't wait to hop in, which is going to be right now. It's so clear today. I know, there's so many fish and this is our lovely guide Belle and she's taking care of us today. Yeah. She's feeding the fish. <laughs> wow, there's so many. Look at them here. So we're going to see the big jackfish now. It's going to be crazy. And you said it's in the deep side. It's in the deep side. Here, this is a marine protected area. We cannot touch fish here. Just only swimming with the fishes. Okay. So we suited up, we got our snorkel and we got our mask. We're gonna get some bread yeah, for the fish. fish. For the fish. Yeah. Okay, you will feed them? Yeah, you. Oh, we will feed the fish. Wow. Okay, here's our lifeguard down here. We're gonna go and find a jackfish. Jackfish. You ready, girl? On the deep side. Okay. On the deep side. Okay, so grab some bread. Let's go. And welcome back to the Philippines. Woo. We are back in the water in the Philippines. Wow, it's like a dream come true. Woo. Oh, some bread. Thank you so much. So we got some bread and we're gonna go and find a jackfish, which apparently is a really big fish. The water is crystal clear. It's super warm as it always is here in the Philippines. Wow, it's so good to be back. I've missed this so much. Hello, how are you? Good, it's fine. How are you? 
Kitchen for you. <laughs> there is some of the most incredible marine life here that I've ever seen. And we're just off the shore of Cebu. We have seen the biggest jackfish I've ever seen before. Absolutely massive. Kind of the size of me when you get up close to it. Incredible. Look at where we are. We got the island behind us. Beautiful swimming conditions. Perfect weather. So lucky to be here. We had the most incredible snorkeling session I think I've ever had. Seeing massive fish, lots of sea life, beautiful coral, and of course, always crystal clear waters in the Philippines. Thank you. We have made it off the boat onto the next island and apparently this is a privately owned island. It's incredible that just off Cebu City you have all of this beautiful blue water. We've been to some other islands since we've left the Philippines but nothing compares to the beautiful clear water and previously we went to the markets like Guiapo Market in Manila, Divisoria in Manila. This is completely different. You get the size of Manila where it's busy, lots of street food and then you have this calm and relaxed ocean life. Welcome to the Philippines. And look at this insane boardwalk that we're on right now. We're about to go and have some lunch. We can also snorkel here once we're done with lunch. And apparently you can see some amazing sea turtles. And this is why we come to the Philippines for experiences like this. The Philippines is so much fun. So this is the beautiful island and restaurant where we're going to have some lunch right now. And it's literally on this beautiful blue water. So while we eat, we can just overlook this ocean. So this is where we're going to have lunch today. And look at the size of this lechon right now. And this is our view. Fish crab? Fish crab. Oh, fresh crab. <laughs> Fish crab, no, just crab. <laughs> so for lunch, we have an all-you-can-eat buffet. And she said, just eat as much as you like. <laughs> Over here in the front, we have some fresh fruit. So that's watermelon and some mango. We have some skewers. We have chicken. Oh, look at these prawns. They look like they've been dunked in a little chili sauce. That looks so good. And then we have the fresh crab, the Filipino noodles. And of course, no Filipino meal is complete without the rice. And we have a little salad bar over here. We've got everything. Cucumbers, olives, corn, tomato, more olives, more onions, salad. That looks like tofu. I'm not sure what that is. This looks like a, a sea grape salad. That's interesting. We are surrounded by the clearest water I've ever seen. We got lunch with a view. We're now just exploring this beautiful island. We ate some delicious lunch and we always love the Filipino food. <laughs> so after having some lunch, we now got back on the boat and now we're going to explore a different island. And throughout our day, we have just had these dark and light patches of beautiful blue water. And I hope you can hear me because these boats are so loud. You don't necessarily have to go all the way to Palawan if you're looking for blue water. We found it. So we recommend you book this tour. <laughs> <laughs> so right now I'm sitting right in the bow of the boat and if I extend this you kind of get an idea of just the size of these boats. What an experience. You can see how beautiful and clear this water is beside me. We have the girl in the back over there and this is everything we love about the Philippines. You've got the beautiful blue waters, the islands, but you've also got the markets, the cities, the people, the food is delicious. So we are happy to be back right now. We are about to arrive at our final island for today. While I'm sitting here and I'm having the best time, I think it would be a perfect time. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It helps us so much. So this is now the third island. It's a very big sunbar. 684 population. We have a school here, elementary school, grade one, two, grade six. We have arrived at our final island for today. Thank you so much. Thank you. We cannot do any snorkeling here, but we can go swimming. Look how many people. It's kind of just a big party island. Where can we find a coconut? Down there? Okay. Oh, perfect. 100 pesos. Okay, thank you so much. Bye-bye. All the Filipinos here on the island are such a vibe. They're just always in a good mood, in a party mood. All the boats have come and docked together and everybody's just swimming, eating and enjoying their time here. Even though it's our third and final island of the day, I don't want it to be over because it was too good. 
What do we have here? It's like a seafood market. Hello, how are you? You good? What are you selling? This is a parameter, parameter shell. Oh, it's a shell. Oysters. Oysters, yes. Yeah, well, uh, squid. Squid? Yeah. Is it fresh? Fresh from here. From here. Yeah. Outside. Okay. <laughs> wow, it's it looks fresh. amazing. These are like a shell. This is kind of shell. So you eat the inside? Yes, inside. It's delicious? Yes. Lamy? Lamy? <laughs> Include a sauce. Oh, you have a sauce. What kind of, like a spicy sauce? Yes. Or like a vinegar? Like a vinegar, yes. Like a vinegar, and, uh, okay. Chili. Oh, so the same as like a balut. Yes, yes, yes. So how much is one of the? 100. 100? 500. 500. Oh, wow. Yeah. For all of it? For all, all of it. Oh, oh, wow. oh, And then you cook it? <laughs> yes, yes. And then you can sit here and eat it. Oh, wow. Ah. Oh, you deliver. Good service. Thank you for teaching me. Some so of them are still moving. So you can eat all of this? Yes, yes, sir. Can we buy a coconut? 100 pesos? Hello. 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 Yanko, Yanko. Yanko? Uh, one. One, please. Thank you. What is coconut in Bisaya? Lubi. 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 It's okay. not buko. So yeah, in Tagalog it's buko. 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 Tagalog buko. Thank you so much. Let me grab a straw. Oh, it's so heavy. You like it? Lami? <laughs> Lami? <laughs> 100. Thank you so much. Mm. How is it? Oh, it's delicious. Mm. This is what we needed. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Salamat. Salamat. <laughs> bye bye. Bye <laughs> bye. Really good. Hello. <laughs> Everybody loves Papa. Very good. He's so good. <laughs> wow. I might be bold enough to say that the best coconuts in the world are from the Philippines. Ooh, that's bold. That's bold. If you agree with what Devin mm. said, just put a little coconut emoji yeah. in the comments. Yeah. Just don't say anything, but if you agree, we want to see those coconut yeah, emojis. See a coconut in the comments. How does it work? Which way do we go? Like this? Oh, she knows what to do. She's using her leg to push. Hello. The coconut was so oh, good. Coconut. Lamy. <laughs> Only in the Philippines. Only in the Philippines. Okay, I'm finished. Oh, she, she stopped for you. Stop. Oh. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. As I'm taking my final little strolls here in the perfect water, I still can't believe that the clearest water is just an hour's drive away from Cebu City. We are so happy to finally be back in Cebu. We absolutely love the Cebuano people. We love that Cebu has so much history. Last time we may have done a lot of touristy things, but this time we want to go where the locals go. So today we're literally just going to walk straight down the street and see what delicious street food we can find as raw as it can be literal street food like right now we have found this kind of like a a cab a car hello kamusta this is what i'm talking about we are on the street there is just some food right here this is like a i don't know what you call it like a tuck shop on wheels <laughs> whoa what is this hello kamusta <laughs> what are you making yeah it's garlic Garlic. Garlic. And this is peanuts. Like roasted peanuts. Yeah, spicy. Spicy peanut. You can see in here there are little chilies in the peanuts. And he's frying them right here. Yeah. I can taste right. one? Yeah. Okay. This is what I'm talking about, the food here in the Philippines. This is a deep fried peanut. I've never seen that before. He has his deep fryer over here. And then he's got different batches. This is just a plain peanut. Thank you, Salamat. Oh, he's letting you try. He's letting me try them. So here we have plain peanuts, deep fried peanuts, roasted with garlic, and then some here with chili as well. First time trying a deep fried peanut. What is the name? Is money? Money. Money. So we learned that peanuts are money in Basaya. And because we're in Cebu, you got to speak some Basaya language. Oh, so good. Because they're deep fried, they sweet and crunchy. Oh, is it sweet? Oh, it's sweet. Peanuts are sweet? Sweet peanuts. That's so interesting. The garlic? Okay, let me try. Why not? Oh, shame. Thank you. Salamat. So kind. Mm. Oh, those sweet peanuts. I could eat a hundred of them. You can see it's a tiny slice of garlic. Mmm, delicious. Lummy. Lummy. Mm. <laughs> wow, I love so the good. way he's frying them. Lummy ang mani. Lummy ang mani. 
Ah, lummy ang mani. The peanuts are yeah. delicious. Delicious peanuts, so yes. Good. Thank you so much. Do you want to try the deep fried ones? The, the chili one. The chili one. Can we have one chili? Is there a small? Maybe oh. try the small one. Small? Ten. Ten. Okay, yes. Can we have a small one? Just because we're tasting for now. We're just starting. That it's looks so great. Ten. Nice, spicy? Yes, spicy. Maang hang. Yes? <laughs> Maang hang. Maang hang, spicy. Maang hang yung mani. Maang hang yung mani. Okay, spicy peanuts. Wow, look at that. Oh, wow. Maang hang mani. Oh, wow, these are so hot, freshly made. I'm keen to try these. Oh, sorry, man. Here it's 50. Thank you so much. Salamat. For 10 pesos, this is what you can get on the street, just a snack. Oh, I can smell the roasted garlic, the salty peanuts. This is the garlic. Mmm. Oh, they're so hot. They're burning my hand. <laughs> mm. Oh, these are so good. They're so tasty. Mmm. Lami. 10 peso. What a way to start the day. <laughs> Thank you. Salamat. Oh, what is inside here? Maybe I can see. Hello, Kamusta. What is this? Chorizo. Chorizo, pork. Wow, so much. Delicious. It's delicious. Lamy. Oh, lamy. Lamy. What is the price? This is 60 pesos. 60 pesos. Wow, it's a good price. Okay, thank you so much. Bye bye. Oh my gosh, I love the transport in the Philippines because they're so different. When we were in Manila, we saw all the jeepneys, but now these don't really look like jeepneys. They're more like mini cabs. And I think you can fit, I don't know, maybe like 15 to 17 people in there. And I'm sure they're just as cheap, maybe 10 peso, which is just unbelievable. Like the transportation is so cheap. I read the other day how many people can fit into a jeepney and the answer is one more. There's always space for one more. You can stick as many people in there as you can. Oh. I think this is our moment to cross the road. Okay, now quick, <laughs> quick, quick. Cebu is so busy bustling, but after you've been to Manila, Manila is just on a whole other level. So now when we walk around Cebu, even though there's so much traffic and hustle and bustle, we kind of just feel more relaxed. Since we are in a different side of Cebu, we're literally just finding whatever we can on the street and seeing how much they cost pretty much. These little mini cabs stop everywhere. I wonder what those ladies <laughs> across the street are selling. I can see there's something. Yeah. There's definitely something there. Oh, those it's ladies. Coconut. Are, it's, it's coconut. It's coconut. We should go and okay. get some. Let's try and cross the street. Okay. And let's go and get some. This I think this used to be like a pedestrian crossing, but it's all like washed up. So as soon as we get a moment, we're gonna have to take it. I think there's a gap coming. Okay, after this car, and then we go halfway. Okay, let's okay, go. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Halfway. <laughs> yes. oh, thank you. Come, 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 come. <laughs> okay, so what is this? It Hello. looks like coconut. Kamusta. Hello, Kamusta. <laughs> it's buko. Buko. Okay, wow. Uh, can we have one? One glass. One glass. glass. Twenty-five is one glass. Okay, can we 25 have one? Twenty-five is one glass. So she's chopping the coconuts here, and then she's got the fresh coconut juice. Oh, it looks lamy. Is this your sign? Yeah. Ah, oh, hello. <laughs> so cute. Thank you, Kamusta. Whoa, look at this. It's ice cold. I think you meant salamat, my girl. <laughs> oh, salamat. <laughs> I said kamusta by mistake. Mmm, it's got the fresh coconut flesh in there. It's got ice inside. It looks so good. Look at all this coconut. And it's so refreshing on a hot day. Thank you, Paul. Hey, no change. You can have you it. Can keep it. <laughs> Thank you. This is amazing. Like she's got it just on a card, all of these coconuts fresh, chops them up, immediately puts the coconut juice in this ice water. Who knows what else we're going to find? I know, this guy is so cute. Boko juice. You want, Do you want one? one? Huh? I will buy one for you. Why not? And then we drink together. Why not? Let's do it. Let's... Can we have one more? Can we have one more? 20... Five. 25. Okay, Perfect. there's one more. One more. We can share it with our friends. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Let's go and Thank have one with our new friend. Yeah, we drink together. What is your name? Uh, Joel. 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 Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We drink together. <laughs> Cheers. Really good. 
thank you for having one with me. <laughs> Let us know if they add anything else to this or if it's just plain coconut juice. I think it's just natural. I'm not sure, but it's so delicious. Thank, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this bamboo ladder. Hi, como esta? <laughs> como esta? Hello. <laughs> hello, hello. Como esta? I love the Cebuano people. Ah, oh, they're so friendly. <laughs> wow, what is this? Hanging rice. Hanging rice? Yeah. Why do you hang it? Right, it's hanging. <laughs> Why is it hanging? <laughs> no. Bamboo? Coconut leaves. Coconut leaves. So you put the rice in like a bowl inside the coconut leaf. Amazing. I think it's genius. And this is fried chicken. Yeah. Oh, lumpia. Yeah, we we should try the lumpia. You like this? It's good? It's good. Good? It's good? Lamy? Lamy. Oh, no. <laughs> Let me try one. What is this? Uh, vegetables lumpia. It's got vegetables on the inside. Vegetable lumpia. Yes, and vegetable it's deep fried. Lumpia. We tried lumpia for the first time in Chinatown in Manila, the oldest Chinatown in the world. How much is this? 10 pesos. 10 pesos. The lumpia is good? Good. Do you want one? Ah, I will buy it. I will buy it. We've somehow ended up at lunchtime here at the hanging rice stand. This shop needs like a name. Is it the Kestrel stand name? Everybody just whips out a plate that has like a plastic over it so you don't have to wash the plate. Genius. And then they put the plastic on their hand. Uh, it's good for eating rice. Yes. I haven't even finished my buko juice. So you can see here he's got the rice. It looks good. It looks so good. Delicious. <laughs> he's got the fried chicken, he's got the rice. Look Delicious. Here. Delicious. <laughs> How much is the chicken? 40. 40. For rice and chicken. No, chicken only chicken. Like and then the lumpia that I'm having, kind of like a spring oh, roll, is only 10. Yeah, There's 20. Thank you. You can keep it. You, you can have it. Thank you so much. I would order some fried chicken, but we're on the hunt for some lechon. So I need to make sure I've got space for that. Let me break a piece of this. Then you can see what's inside. Oh wow! Look, Look at, at that. that! You can see all the veg that's on the like inside. Noodle. Maybe you should put a sauce on. What is this sauce? Chili sauce. Is it good with the lumpia? Yes. Okay. Go for it. He says it's good. It's so heavy. Giant chili sauce. They're teaching me how to eat it. What a vibe! Oh. The deep fried one is so good. It's like a giant spring roll. The chili sauce is everything. Still got our buko juice. So this is a perfect combo. Mm, Lunch time in Cebu. Bye bye. Thank you. you. Salamat. <laughs> what a day we're having. We've only walked about 50 meters down the street and we've already got too many things. It just shows here in Cebu you could find street food anywhere, literally on the side of the road. Hello. Hello. Is Liempo? Uh, this is pork Liempo. And this is lechon, chicken lechon. So that's something you have to try in Cebu because it's famous here, the lechon and the liempo. We're gonna try and find some pork lechon, hopefully down the street. I'm sure we can find it. Having to hide under the umbrella. Got some more hanging rice. Hello. What do we have? Rice. We've got sweeties. Cigarettes. It's like a 7-Eleven. Yeah. <laughs> what I actually noticed in Cebu is that they have these little hole-in-the-wall bakeries. We've seen maybe like five or six on one street. They have really, really cheap but delicious treats from donuts to pastries and stuff. So we're going to have to pay a Cebu bakery a visit. What's that? Mummy O-rings. Oh, it's a lechon house. Ooh, we've been waiting for this moment. The last time we had lechon, it was like over a year ago. And ever since then, we've been craving it so much. Look at this. It's a oh whole goodness. cut up lechon. They've got the face, they've got the body. And I think they've got all the extra parts, like the intestines and stuff. We've actually got a whole buffet here of veggies, there's chicken, there's fish, there's hanging rice. And of course, they've got the lechon in the back. And I think they're going to chop it up for us. Rice per lechon, one serve, 100 peso. Should we try that one? Can you try some lechon? One serve? Uh, one serve, yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, one rice. One, one, rice. one rice. Yes. Only one. Only one. Oh, you see. Thank you. <laughs> that looks so good. Oh, it looks delicious. Yeah. Lummy. Yes. Very, Very lummy. Do you like it? Super, super, super lummy. Super lummy. Masarab. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Napa drinks. So we have pineapple and we have a 
tapioca. You want yes. a pineapple juice? Can we have one pineapple juice? Thank you. Thank you so much. We've come to, I think it's Mama Orings. It is a lechon house and it looks like a local one as well. It is so busy, it's so popular. Wow, this is awesome. We got our lechon. Thank you, Pa. We got pineapple juice, we got our rice, we've got a little bit of a sauce. And if you don't know what lechon is, it's actually a roasted suckling pig and they roast the entire pig. The hard shell is a crispy outer layer and then you've got the juicy tender pork meat on the inside. It is divine. If you haven't had it yet, I highly recommend it. It's very, very well known that it comes from here in Cebu, specifically Ka Ka, but here in Cebu you can actually find lechon anywhere. Wow. You put it in the coconut leaf? Banana leaf. Oh, banana leaf. That looks great. First things first is I have to try the crispy, it's like golden glaze. I know this is going to be super crunchy. Whoa. Now this is what I've been waiting for. I think this is my favorite part. First things first is I'm going to take a little bit of the lechon. I'm going to dip it in my little vinegar sauce. And I'm going to take a little bit of this chili. Perfect bite of lechon. Let's go. Mm. That lechon flavor, that chili is so spicy. Ooh, Cebu lechon for the win. Ooh. My mouth's on fire. Wow, what a meal we have had. And the lechon was a hundred pesos. So delicious. <laughs> welcome. Thank you. You're both from South Africa? Yes. <laughs> the food was amazing. Thank you. We will come back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Yes. One serve of lechon, 100, and then one rice, and then right after this. It's only 150. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, that was Thank lovely. You. Thank you so much, Salaman. Bye-bye. Hello. 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 Where are you going? Shout out. Shout out. <laughs> are you going on holiday? Where are you going? We're going to go eat. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, wow! Happy birthday! How old are you? How young are you? I'm turning 23. Wow, 23! Yeah. I'm older than you! Oh, really? Yeah! <laughs> Still single, how about you? <laughs> I'm not single! <laughs> <laughs> He's my boyfriend! <laughs> He's too young for me! <laughs> Take a picture oh, together! Take a picture together! He's also a Filipino blogger. You're a blogger. Oh, you're a blogger. Wow. Enjoy yeah, your lunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have Enjoy a good your day. Lunch. Oh, those guys were the best. I don't know where they were going, but they're just having so much fun, so much energy. Oh, my day has been made. <laughs> we have only been walking down this street and we've hey. already found so many things. Hey. What is your name? Roger. 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 Nice to meet you, Roger. Did you have lunch already? Oh, you finished? had lunch already. Okay. What did you eat? Lechon? Uh, no, no, no. Vegetables. Vegetables. Because, because of my age. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> You're so you young. Need, you need to be healthy. Uh, uh, adventuring. Ad yes. Adventuring. Yes, adventuring. Uh, <laughs> yes we are adventuring. Yes. Exploring. Bye, nice Roger. Nice to meet you, Roger. Bye nice bye. to meet you. Bye, bye. <laughs> Roger. So kind. Oh, wow. Look at this building. It looks like some sort of government building. Look at all the signs. It looks like um, I've seen those signs before, like part of the tourism board. This building is so beautiful. They've got all the names of the cities. City of Kaka, Shargao, Elkoi, Oslob. There's so many that we haven't been to. And all the beautiful flags, I think, of each city. I think you can go inside. I'm going to ask them. Hello. Oh. Hello, ma'am. Good afternoon. What is this building? Government building. Wow. Provincial capital. Oh, the provincial capital. It's a beautiful building. Why do you have all the flags outside? The provincial flag. Oh, it's the provincial flag, yeah. each province. Thank you for teaching us. We can take a picture. Oh, oh, okay. Thank oh, you perfect. so much. Thank you. There is so much history throughout the Philippines, and Cebu is the oldest city in the Philippines. And I saw there was a sign outside that this building was rehabilitated in 1946. It's actually the anniversary of Cebu, the 454th anniversary. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Have a Thank good day. Thank you. Bye bye.
That was absolutely fascinating. A little bit of history, but we're gonna continue on our way down the same street and just see what else we can find. <laughs> ah, guapa. Guapa and guapo. Ah, guapa and guapo. Ah, okay. Guapo. Guapa, guapa. Yeah. <laughs> so nice to meet you. and live TikTok. Yes, TikTok, YouTube. What is your name? Rosaline and Ivy. Rosaline and Ivy. Ivy. Oh, I like your names. Have a good day. Have a good day. Nice to meet you. Bye bye. <laughs> now we know that in Tagalog it's Maganda, but in Cebuano, Bisaya, it's Guapa. Guapo, Guapa. That's easy to learn. <laughs> you got some bananas? 50 pesos per kilo. 50 pesos for one kilo. And if I want only one? Oh yeah. Not one kilo, only one banana. <laughs> one kilo? No, 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 no. <laughs> only one banana. Only one. How much? Five pieces. Okay, Good thank price. You. So, he has this wooden cart with probably how many kilos altogether? Uh, 350 kilos. 350 Whoa. kilos. Wow, it's heavy. Can I push it? Oh, oh it's so heavy. <laughs> you want some? Good price. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> wow, you have to be strong. Let me bring it back to the shop owner here. Only one. Yes, the best one. I only have a 50. You no can, change. No, 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 no. It's okay, I only want one. No change. You, you can have 50. We keep saying that the fruit in the Philippines is some of the best in the world. Mm. So good. Next time I come and have banana queue with you. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank bye you, bye. Paul. What we've learned again here in the Philippines is everywhere you go, even if people are working hard, they're still having a good time and they're always happy. What a day. It's kind of fat. Yeah, it is a bit of a fat, like wide banana. Yes, why is it so fat? So chunky. Today we just wanted to see how much street food we can find on one street. Everything we ate today, including the drinks, the extra little rice, was less than $5. <laughs> Today, we have just arrived at the port here in Cebu City. Yes, we are finally going on a ferry trip for two hours from Cebu to Tagbalaran to one of our favorite islands. We are going to the island of Bahol. And previously, when we were in the Philippines, we went to Bahol with my parents. So this trip is going to be completely different. Thank you, ma'am. Good morning. Doggo. Excuse the dog that's freaking out in the back. 20... I think he's in that little box. We had to pay a 25 peso fee to get into the terminal. And now we have this beautiful waiting area where we're going to wait for about 20 minutes for our ferry to leave. What time? Uh, 9.20. Gate number 6. Gate number 6. Go straight on the left side. Okay, thank you. Wow, that was super easy. Everything has been super seamless today. We checked in our bag. Dog is still barking. <laughs> Lots of cafes around. I think we need a coffee. Yes, let's get a coffee. <laughs> I need to wake up. You know, in couples where one person just books and plans everything and the other one just shows up? Can you guess who's who? <laughs> You might be surprised. <laughs> I feel like so much has changed since the last time we were here. This is much bigger. There's lots of shops, there's lots of places to sit, and there's even some entertainment. Wow, oh, look at all the cakes. Is it too early? Can we have two hot latte? I think when you're traveling as a couple, you learn to have separate roles. Chef does some things, I do some things, and I think it just works seamlessly. So let us know if you're traveling as a couple, what your roles are. Do you know which pier we're going to? Do you know how long the ferry is? <laughs> do you know how long it's going to take to get to our hotel? Do you know which hotel we're staying at? <laughs> to the bag okay and Devin's job is to tell us where to go and how to get there and how long it's gonna take I just show up okay <laughs> hello there we go 
another two hours to Baho. Thank you, ma'am. So we paid $16 each for this ferry and we booked our ticket to be on the top. So I think this is amazing. It's kind of like an open air seat. You can sit down below and those are maybe fancier seats, but this way we get to see the ocean go by, see some of the islands as we make our way to Bohol. But on the inside, the air conditioner is so cold. So I'm really happy that we're sitting out here. We can get That's some true. fresh air, sea breeze. And these are the seats that we have and there is a life jacket underneath just in case we need it. We were almost late to get onto the ferry, so we had to quickly put our coffee in a takeaway cup, but we made it, and this is where we're gonna be spending the next two hours on our way to Baho. This way we get to have some fresh air. MP Ocean We are officially leaving the port, so goodbye Cebu, and we're making our way all the way down there. Right now we're going under one of the biggest bridges here in the Philippines which connects Cebu City to Mactan. I think I remember that this bridge was made to celebrate 500 years in the Philippines and it's absolutely beautiful. It is a massive bridge. I think it only opened last year. When we were here in Cebu it wasn't even finished yet. So please correct me if I'm wrong. wanted to book the seats with the AC but I'm so glad that we didn't because the fresh air is so nice plus you get a magnificent view the entire way to Bohol we get to see the bridges the mountains the sea I'm enjoying every second I'm just gonna drink my coffee and enjoy so a few reasons why I recommend you book this is first of all you get the open air and the beautiful view but it's also the cheapest ticket. Even the people that are downstairs want to be up here and they don't get a good view and look at the view that we get. So one thing I do whenever we go on a vessel or a train or a bus is see what speed we're going at. Since we went on the fastest train in South Korea, I wanted to see what the speed was. And right now it feels like we're cruising and I looked, we're going about 45 kilometers an hour. On a big ferry like this is super impressive. So not only is the view amazing, but we're also gonna get there quickly. Speed app, get yourself a speed app. Get yourself a boyfriend who loves things like speed apps. So after a very seamless two-hour journey from Cebu to Tagbalarin, we have now arrived at the port. Hello. You're saying hello. Watched oh. you guys. Ah, oh, thank you so much. I watched you guys. Nice well, to meet we're you. We're in Cebu and Manila. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank, thank you for I've saying been hi. I've watched you on YouTube for ages. Yeah. Oh wow, fantastic. I was just going to lose in. I recognise you. I just told my wife, she's like two YouTubers we've been watching for right So now. after a very easy, seamless two-hour journey, we have made it to the port here in Bohol. Let's go to Bohol. Let's go see what we can find. I'm so excited for a new adventure. And best part about traveling in the Philippines is each new place that you arrive in is a new adventure. So I'm so excited for what we're going to see here, what we're going to eat and the adventures that we're going to go on. Bye. Bye. Nice to meet you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. We got, already have a hotel pickup, which is super easy. I love seamless transport. This is us. Thank you so much. Let's make our way now from Tegbalarin to Panglao. What is your name? I'm John. John. Yes. Nice to meet you, John. Yes. You're going to drive us yes. to Panglao. Yes, sir. Are you from Bohol? Yes. OK. Nice to meet you. We got this whole van to ourselves, so we got a comfortable drive. Maybe 30 minutes to 35 minutes. 30 minutes. OK. Perfect. Thank you. What do you call this car in front? Tuk-tuk. A trike or a tuk-tuk? Yeah. How much does it cost to take a trike? Bohol. Depend on what location you're going for. If you're going to Panglao from here, like maybe 400. 
and after a short 30 minute drive we have made it to the city of Peng Lao. We are making our way now from our hotel. We have just checked in and we're going to the beach. Our hotel is like a minute away from the beach. Ooh, I can see the water. Oh I remember all of these boats. Wow, look at this. Look how beautiful it is. The water is so clear. So I guess we're going to have to keep walking all the way along. There's a little footpath here. And then we're going to get to the main beach area where all the restaurants are and all the bars. Hello, Hello. good afternoon. We have the thick luscious trees all around us and the ocean looks great. Weather is treating us. We are already adventuring. We're going to see what we can find. And the whole reason we came to Bahol is we want to go to our favorite island. So you're going to have to keep watching to see which that is. And we'll tell you exactly why it's our favorite island. So if you don't know, Bohol is the 10th biggest island in the whole of the Philippines. And we did come here previously about a year ago and it's known for the Charsiers, which is the smallest primate in the world and over a thousand chocolate hills. We went and explored all of those tourist sites the previous time we were here with my parents. So if you haven't already, we'll put a link to that video in the description below. So clear and all the boats are coming in. I think everyone's done with their island hopping tour. Oh, I just can't wait to get out there. I miss the long sticks that they use, the boats. And it kind of reminds me of Boracay, which kind of has this beautiful beach. We then have the palm trees on this side. It was mid-COVID time when we were here, so there weren't as many boats, maybe one or two. So it's so good to see that the Philippines is booming and so many boats are here. So we've just been exploring the streets here in Peng Lao and it is so busy and vibrant. There's lots of people coming out and it's so good to see that the tourism is back. But we have seen this sign over here that says Hello Mango. Hello Mango? I'm not sure what that is. It's either like Hello Hello or it's a mango flavored Hello Hello. Hello Hello but mango. I wonder if that's even possible. Have you had the Hello Mango? Hello Mango is good. Is it good? It's good. Lummy? Lummy. Okay, okay. You want one? Yeah, yeah. I will see if it's too expensive or not. You're waiting. Okay, good. If that is true, hello, hello, but mango version, I'm going to freak out because I love mango. And to have that with all the hello, hello toppings would be insane. So is it a hello, hello? I so we've got mango ice cream, then mango, and then a cone. But where's, they've got all sorts of things. Where's the hello part? I think there's more than this variation. Oh, and there's a window. You can just order through the window. Yeah. Look at all of these wow. variations. Look how huge this is. They've got all sorts of coconut shakes, calamansi shakes, watermelon. I want to try everything. I have no idea which one we should choose. Look at the size of this. This is 800 peso. Can we have one mango holic? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, this is crazy. This looks like my kind of dessert. Well, you guys know how much we love Hello Hello, but this, I'm sorry, this takes the cake. Mango, mango ice cream. Put it together, Hello Mango. And you can tell this is the real deal. Look at how vibrant this orange is. Mmm. Mm. That is the best mango ice cream I've ever had. It's cold, it's sweet, it's very sweet. Hello Mango. Genius. If you are a mango lover, this is the spot. And I've just seen, they've been doing this since 2007 and we've only just discovered it now, but I can definitely understand the hype. We're having a well-deserved dinner on the beach and it is so nice to just sink your feet in the sand. We've got a very early morning tomorrow, so we'll see you then. We've woken up bright and early to go on a little bit of an ocean adventure and because we love snorkeling we wanted to check out the vibrant underwater world by doing a little island hopping trip. This is our lovely Captain Alter. Good uh, morning. Good morning. <laughs> He's going to be taking care of us today. Thank you so much. The waters are super crystal clear here and we wanted to check out what Bohol has to offer. The weather is looking good, so let's see what we get ourselves into. We 
have now arrived at Balakasag Island and this is our favorite island here in the Philippines. Why? Because it is perfectly circular. And then it has this beautiful blue water, lots of reefs, lots of sea life all around it. And we get to see our favorite marine animal, which is the turtle. And apparently there are a few here today. There's not too many waves. So hopefully crossing thumbs, we get to see some turtles today. There are so many boats today that are making the trip to Balakasag. Lots of pristine beaches, white sand, coral heads everywhere. The water looks crystal clear. It is just this piece of paradise in the middle of nowhere. So we are about to go snorkeling. This is our guide, Lorenzo. He is going to take us out to the turtles. Balakasag is known for having loads and loads of turtles, kind of a home of turtles. So we're going to get in this tiny little boat. What do you call this boat? Paddle, paddle, paddle boat. boat. And we're going to paddle out to the turtles, which is awesome. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, what's your head on? Are we going under? Going on the world's smallest boat. <laughs> Watch your head. This boat is so small that we can go under the other boat. Yeah, we're literally going under this boat. Wow, watch it. We have perfect conditions today. Unfortunately, we forgot our GoPro, so that's why I have to use this. And I'm sure the sound and quality isn't gonna be as good, but we're gonna try and show you exactly how beautiful the sea life is and hopefully the turtles. Here we go. Let's go see what we can find. We can oh. see everything beneath us. Unreal, and the water's perfectly glassy. We got some coral heads beneath us, and we were just told because Balikasag is a national park, we have to swim with a guide. That's why we have Lorenzo in the back and we can only swim for an hour. Okay, we've just arrived in the designated snorkeling zone and this is where lots and lots of fish are so you have to come out here with your guide. So we're gonna suit up, put our mask, our snorkel on, let's go see some fish. We ready Lorenzo? <laughs> You ready? Hey. He's ready. <laughs> okay, Lorenzo's putting in the anchor so we don't go anywhere. And he's ready. I'm ready. ready. Chef's ready. This is where we're going to be spending the next hour. We're going to take our life jackets on so we can go as deep as we can into the fish. This is incredible because you can just go straight off your little paddle boat. I think there's going to be a lot of fish around us and hopefully some turtles. Our whole snorkeling trip was absolutely amazing. Crazy to think that we were swimming with some of the biggest turtles I've ever seen, but then also the little baby ones, and they were full of energy. They were coming right up to the shore, taking little gasps of air, and it was so nice to just swim with them. They were super playful. Their beautiful colors, watch them eat off the sea floor, and just to spend time with them is unbelievable. So we're on the boat about to leave the island and he is right here. And look how close he is to the shore. He's incredible. We can see him coming up to the surface. He's right in front of us. Oh, there! Oh, there. Oh, there. Oh, I see! Oh, wow! Oh, he's going down. <laughs> it's so up there. Wow. I can't believe it. We're seeing so many turtles come to the surface just to breathe. Okay, Chris, let's go. <laughs> let's go, Chris. Let's go, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> let's go, let's go. <laughs> Okay, bye Balakasag, bye turtles, we're going back to Bahol. We finally come back to the main island. I need a big coffee. Thank you so much. 
This is what we need to wake up. Right now we're on one of the side streets. And we're having some crunchy wraps. We can eat some amazing street food with all the people walking by. And then we're going to explore the rest of the island. Good morning, we are starting our day off with a very early adventure but luckily we have got some good weather so the moment we have some good weather we know it's time for a good adventure. We've actually rented a little scooter here on Pang Lao Island and that calls for a little bit of a road trip adventure this morning. We haven't actually been to a waterfall here in the Philippines so today we're gonna go and find one. I think it's one of the most beautiful ones. It's gonna take us about an hour to get there. Thank you. Are you ready to go? Let's go! Woohoo! Oh, I need to drive on the right hand side. Oh, right hand side. We forget that. <laughs> Music. As we're making our way out of the city and further into the jungle, the thick greenery and lush trees is just like unbelievable. This is what we missed in the Philippines. It's not only about the cities that we've been in Cebu and in Manila, it's about getting out and exploring these islands. going past all these little villages and people's small houses and it's just incredible and right now we're going past a little lake on this side beautiful lake this is the best feeling of freedom exploring on the bike yes freedom fresh air oh it's so good just stopped for a little break because the back and the bum is suffering but look how beautiful these roads are and there is nobody here as you drive we've only been driving for about 30 minutes the roads are getting quieter and quieter we've left the cities and we're heading into the jungle do you like my cool hat There's so many reasons why Bohol is one of our favorite islands because not only do you get to swim with incredible turtles but you also get to go on these magnificent drives in the luscious green jungle. You just get to see so much more on a bike instead of maybe in a car or in a tour bus and you can stop whenever you like. So we're about three minutes away and then we are at the waterfall. Let's go see. I think we might have a 10 to 15 minute walk to the waterfall and then we will finally be there. Okay, we found the whoa, found the parking spot. <laughs> you good? Okay, I think this is the parking spot. Oh. Where do we park? Over there? Uh, Over there. Over there? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, we have arrived. Oh, it's a buffalo. I got drive to the nice Okay. Oh, nice table. <laughs> How much? 100 per head. 100, so 200 and, pesos. And then the motorcycle is 20. 20 for parking? 220. Mm -hmm. 220, okay. So where do we go? Here. Down this way? You follow the people here. Follow the people? Uh, <laughs> people here. We'll go down the How long does it take? And 10 minutes. Only. 10 minutes? Yes. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Okay. Thank you. you need to be strong? Oh, yes. <laughs> we, can, we are okay? Okay. okay. <laughs> Good, thank you. 
<laughs> You're strong, you can do it. We can make it. <laughs> other people. Apparently this is one of the lesser known ones. So we're gonna hike for the final few 10 minutes. Well, judging from this book here, this is the date and it's just one other person. There's literally only three of us. It's a little slippery, but I'm off. I'm off to the waterfall. Oh, look, there's a moon. Wow, we're literally just in the jungle right now. This is so cool. We're in the middle of like nowhere. We've got some coconut trees around us and I don't even know where we're going. She said it's going to take 10 minutes. I don't know if that's a 10 minute hike, 10 minute walk. And we've got all these rice fields around us. You can just hear sounds of nature. There's some chickens in the back. So who knows where we're going right now? Hello. Ah, to the Kamagal Falls. Oh, the, the way is down, down this way. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, one minute in, we've already gone the wrong way. Oh, dear. I didn't see another path. Who knows? I don't know. I guess so. Yeah. Who knows where we're going? I guess it's this way. You're not a jungle girl. No, I've just realized. Just like not into the mud and the bugs and yeah which way to the falls this way not sure me neither <laughs> thank you for your help yeah, thank you so we've been walking down this sketchy looking path and we've heard the water and you can just see through this gap in the trees the most beautiful waterfall that looks probably like a hundred feet high you can hear how loud it is and i think there's like a cove or a lake that the waterfall is falling into so we're going to try and get the drone up and see what it looks like and i think that's our best way of figuring out how do we get there we have just gotten the drone up and boy i can't wait to show you what this actually looks like from above you can literally see the typical philippines blue green water and then at the top you've got the most magnificent water flowing straight into it and because it's rainy season it's been raining a lot so that water is really gushing down into that little lagoon at the bottom it's like an oasis in the middle of the jungle and when you're walking through you you can't really hear it, you cannot see anything, but from above there's just this beautiful lake of water with the water gushing down as Chef said. I'm like blown away, yeah. I don't know what, what am I even looking at right now? I'm totally blown away. What do you think my guy? He's so chilled. This is meant to be monsoon season here in the Philippines, but I'm sweating like crazy everywhere and it's boiling hot. What a perfect place to have an adventure. And nobody's here. I mean, you can go to some of the most touristy parts of Bohol. There are lots of tourists here, but here there's no one. We haven't even got to the waterfall yet, and I can already recommend coming here just because there's no tourists here. It's beautiful, covered in the jungle. It's quiet, it's an oasis. Look how steep these stairs are though. You gotta just watch a step, be really careful. You can see how thick all of this jungle is and we're gonna make our way all the way down, I assume, and somewhere in there is the waterfall. She said 10 minute walk. <laughs> she lied. Watch a step. Doing a little hike like this kind of reminds me of when we were trekking to Everest Base Camp, but obviously in very different conditions. We were covered with lots of gear, it was freezing cold, and now it's boiling hot in the jungle. But it's giving some flashbacks. If you haven't watched our Everest series, please go and watch it. It is the best series we've ever made. We're just going like deeper and deeper into the jungle, but now we're starting to hear the water. It's so tropical and humid here in this tree cover. I can see some of the water down there and it's crystal clear, which is crazy because we're stepping in the mud and the thick jungle, but there's beautiful crystal clear water. I see it. You see it? Yeah. Oh, it looks insane from here. Oh, I need to get closer. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. almost there. This is the most incredible thing I've ever seen. That's some bamboo rod that just passed over. So they're a bit loose. This is incredible. I feel like I've walked into some sort of avatar Pandora situation because you're just walking through the jungle and then you have this. It's the most perfectly made waterfall I've ever seen. It's magnificent. And then you can see the crystal blue water just at the bottom of it. 
people have asked us, why did you come back to the Philippines? It's for reasons like this. There's so much in this country to see and do. Wow, if we didn't come back, we would have never seen this. There's so much to explore here. And the best part about this place, we have this entire little pool and waterfall to ourselves. There are so many tourists here in Bohol. And I think we are the luckiest people today. Not a person in sight. Even though we are the only ones here, I did read that you can swim in this water. And I've seen just on this side, there's kind of a ledge at the end of this rock face. So I'm gonna attempt to jump off of that. Maybe it's about three or four meters high, I would say. It's honestly a perfect oasis. Waterfall, pool, coconut trees, the girl, and they've kind of got a makeshift like hut here so we can sit under there in the shade, keep all our bags, and time to go swimming. What an adrenaline rush this is gonna be. It is much higher than it looks right now. To jump next to a beautiful natural waterfall. Three, two, one, go! Woo! feels like you're falling forever. This is where we get to spend our afternoon. This is why Bohol is amazing. This is why the Philippines is amazing. I could just lie here the whole day. One year ago, we were in the Philippines with Deb's parents and we made them try some pretty exotic street food. I'm here for everything. Like sea grapes, hawk's blood and pig's brain with our amazing local guide, Prue. And now that we're back, we've asked her to take it up a notch. I have no idea what this is. Oof. Are we gonna regret that? She's picked out some of the Philippines' most exotic and jaw-dropping street foods <laughs> is it that are bound to get our faces looking like this. This is what we're eating. Let's see how much our stomachs can handle today. And we've arrived at our first spot for today, which is Partabel. I think that's how you pronounce it. And this is where we're going to meet crew right now for our first dish of today. And I can see on the sign there is a fish. So I have no idea what we've got in store for our first thing today. So as you can see, I've got a little bit of a mischievous look on my face. And that's because today we're doing our exotic street food tour with a bit of a twist. So I know what we're about to have and Prue knows what we're going to have today. But Dev has no idea. This is the face of someone who has no idea what he's about to eat. And I cannot wait to see his reactions. It's gonna be priceless. Maybe that's why I'm excited. It's because I have no idea. Maybe I should be nervous. He's excited now, but we'll see. <laughs> Wow, there's so many people. I can see they're grilling something here. Yeah. Look how many people there are. Hello, Lanzones. Very good. Hi. Apparently, Pru is Hi. in here somewhere. Yeah, I see her. Hello. How are you? Hi. Thank you. Nice to see you again. Pru, nice, nice, nice to see you. Been a long time. Yeah. So are you ready to do our picture? We are so ready. Okay. We are so ah. ready and hungry. Bolo, yes. <laughs> mamolo. This place is famous for the sinuglao. Okay. So it's a Cebuano word for suba. So that's grilled, so it's there. Uh -huh. And then you have the uh, tua, so that's the uh, soup. So that's the tinola. Uh -huh. And okay. then the uh, pilao, that's for, it's like a sebeche, so it's okay. a raw fish. Different uh, fish cooked in different ways. Yes. So wow, one is I'm grilled, excited. one is the soup, and one is like a ceviche. Yes. Oh wow, that's so exciting. Yeah. <laughs> Crew has told us that in this area there are actually different types of meals and they cook it in different ways. On this side they're grilling something, I think there's like a soup on the far side. So we're gonna try three different things in this one destination. This is so exciting. What is this fruit? This is fish. Um, yes. So they are grilling all of this fish on this fire. It's piping hot. I was told that the available are gonna be uh, marlin, blue marlin, marlin fish. Okay. tuna, and then the tatsik. So that's their uh -huh. specialty fish. Oh wow. And it's been grilled right here in the open air fire. I think that's, that's the uh, big one. The big one on oh this one over here. Yeah, that one. That's the specialty. Different parts of the yeah, fish, right? It's like a big chunk of fish. Yeah, these are probably the biggest chunks of fish I have ever seen being grilled. But it looks delicious, and it's 
super fresh, you can see here. So this is your first meal of the day? We don't usually have these thick slabs of chunky fish flesh that we eat. I don't even want to know how big the fish is that is making this big piece of meat. And they still have the skin on that just shows how fresh it is. I just love the open air grill. So you order your fish here, which they grill for you. And here is the street, just to give you an idea of how it is. And I think it's called Inihau, but it's kind of like a barbecue of fish or pork or any kind of meat. It always has a special flavor when it's char grilled. They're like grilled and seared to perfection. Oh, that's tuna? Whoa, look how big it is. What do you recommend? I recommend there is the this one, but it's big though. This one here, this is ours. And Prue has just told us that you cannot order a small piece. You have to order this entire chunk. I'll leave it up to you, whichever you piece choose. you think is is the best. Because you're here, we might as well try the specialty fish. Yes. Specialty. Okay. Let's do it. That sounds sounds good. good. Just standing next to this fire for a few minutes, it is so hot. How these guys are cooking all day, every day in front of this fire is amazing. You're a good chef. This is actually how we like to eat. We love to grill our food on a hot fire. Ooh, hot. Okay, now that we ordered the fish over there, Prue has now come in and she's ordering something here. And then I think we're gonna find a seat over here and then we're gonna eat two or three dishes at the same time. Oh, the sea grapes. Yes, we tried that previously. And then they have the kilauin. So this is called the rumpfish. Yes, okay. So the fish is called rumpy. Rumpy. Yes. That's the name of the fish. Barracuda, okay. I'm sorry, did she just say raw barracuda? That's what we're about to eat right now. Okay, so let's try one. Okay. Okay, well, Prue is key. The theme of today is go big or go home. Yes, Prue is proving that. You like this? Yes. Lummy? Yes. Lummy. 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 Now that we've ordered some raw barracuda, we then go to the next station. It's just madness here, so many people. And then we're ordering the next dish, which seems to be like a rice dish. And look how many dishes they're serving. So the first one is the regular uh, grain rice, and then the second one will be the corn rice. Corn rice? Yes. Oh, there's a soup over here. For our third dish here, this is a fish soup. They've got the rice in a giant pot over there and then this huge cauldron over here where they're just serving out chunks of fish in a broth. And then they just serve it straight like that with some rice. So here's the broth, big chunks of fish, and then it goes out. We're going to really need to bring our appetite today. Yeah. <laughs> the serving here is so big. Yes. How long does it sit in here? Um, I think it's a couple hours. Uh, 30 minutes. 30 minutes. minutes. And it's going to be so long. And then it's sold out. Yeah, and then they're gonna cook another batch. Wow. No way. Wow. Oh my goodness. I actually am getting to hold the biggest fish head I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> and you can still see the teeth. This is what's in the broth. Look at these teeth. The, look at those sharp teeth. So is that what you're eating? Yeah. This is what we're eating. I think we've done really well for our first stop. Do you want to try the Tibetan first? Yes. First up, we're going to try the Kinilao, which you can see is these cube-sized pieces of fish. It's a barracuda. Yes. yes. And it's raw, so it's kind of like a ceviche, and it's mixed with some green tomato and some onion. Chef didn't tell me what we were eating today, and this is why, because this is super interesting, raw barracuda meat. Too hot, um, you can just uh, squeeze the lemon, the calamansi. Yes. And she's poured in all the vinegar. This will make the fish uh, cook through the oh, vinegar. Oh, it cooks through the vinegar. Yes. It actually started to change color. It looks like it's turning almost uh, purple. You can tell this is fresh, as fresh as it's gonna get. We haven't tried anything like this before. Okay, here we go. It's delicious. It's not what I thought. It's like juicy. It doesn't have a strong flavor. The meat is really hard. It's a little bit chewy. But when you're eating it, it just dissolves in your mouth. But it doesn't taste fishy. The vinegar and the onion bring out the flavor of the fish. It's sweet with the vinegar. I could eat this whole bowl. I really like this. This is the corn rice. And it's actually quite sticky or more like mushed together. It actually tastes like um, something we would have at home in South Africa. Yes. Like mealy pop. Like mealy pop. That's what it tastes like. 
look at this. It's so big. It's so big. <laughs> that just shows you how long. It's actually elongated. This is the combo of the dipping calamansi, the vinegar and the soy sauce together. You gotta have the dipping sauce. That's true Filipino style. I am trying the fish for the first time and it just looks like it has been grilled to perfection. Look at this meat. That is so well cooked. So I'm gonna dip it in the sauce. All right, try it without the sauce. Okay, first. I'm gonna try it without the sauce first and then with the sauce. Wow. Oh, that is delicious. That's how fish should be cooked. It's very well grilled. So you got the char grilled on the outside from it being on the barbecue and the grill. Tasty, crispy skin on the outside and it's moist on the inside. It's not dry. Super tender. The meat just like falls off and it's so easy to just pick out a little piece. Let's give this a go. Mm. Yes. Oh yes. That is delicious. They know how to do it right. We've just finished eating our amazing dishes and to recap we had the grilled fish and then of course we had the roll barracuda. So now that we've eaten all of this with our corn rice, who is going to take us to our next stop? Hey, thank you. <laughs> So our next spot after just leaving that fresh fish restaurant and now we're just gonna walk straight down the road to our next spot. The thing when you're doing a food tour with someone like Prue is she knows but also you have no idea what you've got in store. Oh wow. Thank you. What am I eating? <laughs> Two mysterious bowls of food have just arrived and from looking at it, you have no idea what it is. Well, I have no idea what it is. Who and I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> and they're giving me looks like it's something interesting? Yes, <laughs> it is very interesting. I have absolutely no idea what it is. But it looks good though. It looks good and it smells good. Which one do you recommend I have first? Um, this one. This one. The plan is I'm going to try it first and then Prue's going to tell me what it is. A lot of the time when you're having a, a delicacy or something unique, the thought of it makes it way worse. You're not giving anything away so while he's testing it we're just gonna leave a little word over here so while he's eating it you guys will know what he's eating take two or three spoonful of that two or three i have no idea what this is is it meat is it jelly you're just allowed to like you know take a look like do something you yeah know, you but should just eat what's it. crazy is even trying to decipher what it is I have no idea. You need to get this first. Yeah, get all the stuff in. Oh, oh that's, yeah, that's like the main thing. You don't need to be nervous. Is this a good way to eat it through? Yeah, sure. This is my first time trying whatever this is. <laughs> sure. Go. <laughs> it's tasty, but kind of unique. I don't know if it would be something I would order. I think it's a meat. These smaller pieces are really have a thick, squishy texture. And then this, which Prue said is the main ingredient, kind of just broke apart in my mouth. So I'm not sure if that's a meat. <laughs> Your face. What else is in there? Prue is not saying anything. <laughs> Hey, there's a bone in here. I wouldn't mind eating this every day. You would eat this every day? I'm just gonna pretend that it's something absolutely delicious. Maybe it is, you haven't tried it yet. How do I eat this, Prue? The slimy, gooey thing? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, one slimy thing. <laughs> Prue's got us some of the meat, which I have no idea what that is. And then one of these slimy, gooey, jelly looking things. <laughs> Don't play with it. Thank you, Prue. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. I can eat that every day. Yeah, you see. <laughs> kind of like a rich tomato soup. Is the meat pork? No. It's delicious. I think not knowing what it is is so helpful because I just feel like I'm having some really good meat. The slimy skin doesn't have a taste. Kind of like a jelly, it just dissolves into your mouth. I like it. Okay, okay. Now it was very enjoyable watching Devin try them because he didn't know. But now that I'm on the other side, <laughs> now I feel nervous, but you did it so well. Like 
Dev took it like a champion. But that's because I didn't know. <laughs> I know what these two dishes are, but I don't know which one is which. But I think I have an idea. Prue made you taste this one first, so I'm gonna try this one first. This is honestly making me feel even worse about it. What did I just eat? <laughs> I was so focused on Dev trying to enjoy it that I didn't think about the fact that I still have to eat it. And you have an idea, so basically... <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen you like this before! <laughs> yes, of water. <laughs> Our eyes are tearing. I've... I'm laughing at myself because this is my idea. <laughs> wow. Knowing is worse than not knowing. If I could describe it as grainy, Devin is game for everything and he will eat it, but my mind got to me a little bit. And I think the texture got to me a little bit because I know what it is. <laughs> this thick, chunky piece, whatever that is, definitely yeah, grainy. Yeah, the, the thick, chunky parts. Would I eat this again? I don't know. I don't think so. So this is dish number two. I've got a little bit of the jelly and the meat and the sauce. This one is like the less extreme. Yeah. And I felt like when Devin was eating it, I knew. You said you'd eat this every day. So then I kind of figured out which was which. Oh. This is good. The taste is like meat and soup taste. And I think it's actually good for you. Yes like super healthy for you. So now Prue has joined me on the side of the table to uncover what we've just eaten. So we got dish one and dish two. Yeah, We're let's start first. Start with, with dish one. two. So this is called balbacua. Balbacua. So this is a beef stew with a collagen rich uh, beef part. So okay. that's why you can see the joints there, the skin. That's beef skin? Yes, beef skin. Okay, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. We don't normally eat beef skin though like cow skin. Okay. And we don't eat collagen, but collagen is actually very good for you. Yeah, me. collagen is good for your skin? Yes. That's and why you eat this every day? Yes. That's why your skin is so nice. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> is the skin cooked in the soup? Yes. Oh wow. It has been simmered for a very long time. For a long time. The second one, are you ready? I'm ready. Local name, here in Cebu it's called Lan Xiao, but uh, this is known as soup number five. And basically, the, you've just eaten the, uh, the bull's The what? <laughs> the genital. Of? The bull. That I made what? you eat earlier. <laughs> what? I was not expecting yeah. that. Wow, okay, wait, let me regroup. The genitals of a bull. Yes. I'm so glad you didn't tell me poo. <laughs> <laughs> you still ate this. And I knew what I it knew was. What it was. Yeah. So all the parts are, are from different parts of the genitals. The p is the most important, as well as um, different internal um, like organs. organs. So at least it's uh, in a small pieces. You're not seeing it in its true form. That is exotic, Peru. Uh -huh. We also consider this as a an exotic. Exotic. Because for me, I've only tried it once. I only tried yeah. it once. You don't eat this no. very often. Okay. No. I can't actually believe mm -hmm. we we've tried this now. We did well, Prue. Well done. <laughs> I think that could be my first and last time trying this. <laughs> How do you feel eating what you just ate? I'm so glad it's over now. I don't know if I'll have any more. You can yeah. have the rest. <laughs> <laughs> So now we can safely say that our exotic food list is getting longer and longer. We've added yes. a very big one to the list. A very big one. Careful with your word choice. <laughs> How did you know it was a very big I one? I don't know. I just assumed. <laughs> Are we getting a taxi now, yes. Prue? Ah, oh, we're getting a taxi. Oh, oh. I love how Prue calls a taxi. So we're going to our next spot, which Prue has told us is a dessert. We've arrived at our next spot and we're right outside the door of the place. It's literally like a hole in the wall. And it looks adorable because... Everything is purple. And Prue told us this is like an ube dessert place and that's why it's all purple. So we're actually having something called ube parado. Normally it's actually made of chocolate but they're putting a ube spin on it this time. And for some of our viewers that don't know what ube is, ube is a purple vegetable that they use for so many dishes 
desserts, drinks all throughout Southeast Asia. And it's absolutely delicious, always sweet. One of our favorite things. No Whoa, it's hot. It's hot. Our champarada is eat and drink breakfast. So this is a glutinous rice with uh, milk, sugar, and then with uh, ube, of course. So all the flavors blend together. Yes. So you said there's rice as well? Yes, inside. this is a glutinous rice. So that's oh. amazing. This is so hot. The proper way to have it is to mix kind of um, like gooey. This would be the best porridge to eat. I would say like this is Barney's breakfast. <laughs> it is so tasty and for some reason I can taste a bit of coconut, but there's no coconut in here. I like this a lot. Oh, I could have this every day. And look at this beautiful purple color. This is better than the previous dish we had. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing beats the previous <laughs> Now that we've had some dessert. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> One more exotic thing to try. But it is something that we have had before, but now we're just trying an extra long version of it. <laughs> Ooh, what have we got here? So these are different parts no, no, of the cake. We have here, I think this is uh, liver. Look how long that is. That is the intestine right there. <laughs> Who's grabbing one? <gasps> wow, look how long it is. Can I hold it? Yeah, sure. This is what we're about to try, pork intestine, and look how long it is. And inside, they've actually stuffed some spring onion, yes. you said, inside the intestine for more flavor. Can I put this back? Is this your intestine? <laughs> this is the fat that is in the pig's butt area. This is pig's butt fat? <laughs> is this a heart? Yes. It's a pig heart? Yes. Oh, wow. Now you have the uh, pig's ears. So we got ears, we got butt, we got heart, we got intestines, all the delicious exotic things. Kind of crazy to go from eating some ube dessert mm -hmm. to this. So he very finely chopped up the intestine that has that spring onion loaded on the inside. And then immediately just threw it in this giant wok where they're deep frying it. And we're right on the street. People are coming in, taking like the tongs and just choosing which piece of meat that they want, putting it in the deep fryer and then eating it. It's like a serve yourself, kind of like a buffet right on the street. All the little intestine pieces have come to the top as they're frying. They look ready. And they're being served through right now. They said we can go and sit. It's ready. This is pure Filipino style. So we eat with our hands, but we don't want them to be too dirty. So we use our glove so we can just pick one of these up. Oh, they're still hot. This is the intestine that we're about to enjoy. This is our first time trying the pork intestine because we actually did try the chicken intestine before and the chicken one is tiny and you can see it looks like a little ring on a stick. So this is definitely a first for us. You can see it's got a bit of a hard shell. So we're just going to pick out one of these and then we're going to dip it in the onion and is that soy poo? Vinegar, soy sauce and onion. And onions. You ready? I'm ready for the first bite. You go first girl. Okay, I got my little pork ring. So you can really taste the spring onions, right? Yes. It's chewy. I think it tastes more of like a fatty piece of chicken skin, but it goes really well with the soy, the vinegar and the onion. Yeah, I would say the outer layer is like a crispy shell. On the inside, it's super chewy. After we have eaten the intestine, which wasn't too bad. In fact, I would probably eat quite a bit of that. Again, it's one of those where your mind makes it a lot worse than it actually is. And right now we're walking down the street to our final place. And this is such an awesome way for us to see the city and experience it. Lots of people are coming to this part of the city. There's a market over here. Hey. Hey. Hi. 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 Yeah. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Peru is taking us down all sorts of streets that we wouldn't normally go here in Cebu City. So I'm so glad that we have her. We may have just found the most interesting and luxurious form of transportation here in the Philippines. And for the next 24 hours, we will be cruising from Cebu to Manila, where we will be eating, sleeping and singing. And we're going to be giving you a full tour of this cruise ship, plus the cost and show you exactly what it looks like. Welcome aboard and let's go to Manila. 
So we are on the Tugo Maligaya cruise ship. We are on the deck right now and we are already 12 hours into our journey. We actually got on board last night and took off at 10 p.m. Yes. Wow, <laughs> wow it's so big. <laughs> Pouring the brain very smooth. And we have to carry our own bags all the way up. This vessel is massive. Mom, stand by at the lobby and just wait to call your name. Your ticket is for check in. Okay, perfect. When we got here last night, it was pouring with rain, but our first impressions of the ship were like, wow. And then I think they're going to escort us to our room. So everybody else has gone to their rooms, which we will show you a little bit later. 254. Oh, this is perfect, thank you. We're actually on the seventh floor right now, which is madness. So we're gonna show you a full tour of the boat, but this is kind of like an outside deck where everybody gets to watch all the beautiful islands that you can see behind me. And we get to see so much, almost a 360 degree view of the ocean, the islands. I hope this gives you an idea of just how big this upper deck is. We're kind of secluded to only this area. We're unable to get to the stern of the boat as well as the bow. But right here in the center, we have this giant area that we can just spend some time in. And as we're cruising, we have the life boys over here. We got the giant engine behind me. This is hands down one of the coolest forms of transportation we've taken ever because there's so much to do and you get to slow travel your way through the Philippines. I didn't know you could do this here in the Philippines. Please let me know in the comments below if you knew this was possible. After the deck, we're gonna start you off inside on the seventh floor, which is technically the third floor for us because we only have access to three floors, which is deck five, deck six, and deck seven where we are right now. The bottom half of the hull is all storage. So this is where the state rooms are. So I think that's the highest level of room. How it works is there's kind of a main lobby that we walked into last night where all the shops are. And then there's two staircases going up to the second and third level. So we're gonna make our way from the top all the way down. We can go anywhere throughout the ship. We can go on the sun deck, we can go at the bottom and throughout the ship there are lots of like relaxing areas. There's some chairs to look out the window or there's some chairs on the sun deck. And now we're making our way to the second floor which I think is where the main sources of entertainment happen. On this side you've got the Island Fiesta Cafe. This is where everybody is having some lunch now. Mm, I can smell lots of really yummy things. Let's go see what they're making. So this is kind of like a cafeteria area that everyone has their meals. And on the ship, all of our meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner are included. Plus the Horizon Cafe, which we had breakfast earlier this morning. We ordered uh, chicken with eggs and rice this morning. And because we're in business class, we get to be in that Horizon Lounge. So it's kind of separated from the rest of the canteen. There are beautiful views which we can look at on the ocean. The breakfast kind of consists of something very simple and of course coffee. And then over here is the food station. So they've got the cutlery over here. They've got juice. They've got some steamed bowls. And then on that side, they've got some fresh drinks. And then over here, we've got all the snacks plus cup noodles. They even have some coffee, some fruit shakes, milk tea. Oreo smoothies. That looks absolutely unreal. We're gonna have to try that. <laughs> and they even have cake and brownies. Ooh, we might have to try that as well. I am so impressed. And I think we're gonna be saying that throughout this tour. We're on a boat right now. And look at this cafeteria. This is also one of the areas that people just kind of hang out in and relax. And last night they actually had some karaoke. They had music playing so loud until midnight. <laughs> And moving along to outside the Island Fiesta Cafe, you actually have a viewing deck over here. So people are sitting and they're enjoying the view as we go by. And over here, they even have a karaoke machine and it costs just five peso per song. They even have a little microphone. This is so cool. It's like a olden style jukebox. I think this is a smoothie bar. So they're making all sorts of shakes, Oreo smoothies, juices, bubble teas. 
Mmm, that looks so good. Overall, I'm really impressed with the to-go travel team because everything has got like a pink theme. Everything is super fun, super exciting, super clean. Everything seems brand new. Food quality is really good. So I'm really impressed so far. And follow me to the business class suites, which is where we stay. And our room is actually on the sixth floor, but it kind of feels like we're on the second floor. But we're in business class and our room is down this corridor. This hallway is actually super quiet. Good morning to all our body guests in a few minutes. The officer and her of the ship will be conducting an emergency drill. We are merely conducting a drill. Again, this is only a drill. The restrooms and showers are located on the outside of our room. So we have a sink inside our room, but we don't have a bathroom. Just a quick bathroom tour. Bathrooms are clean, got everything you need. The boys' ones have a urinal, toilets, basin. But there is a shower room as well. And the showers are nothing fancy, but perfect for on a ship. There is hot water and it is a communal shower. And now our room is right here. We are in room 254 in business class. So let's give you a full tour of what our room looks like. And welcome to the business class suite. It's so cool because we have our own private room and it's actually much more spacious than what I thought we would get. We've got a carpeted floor. As soon as you walk in, we've got our own sink and mirror, which we actually used to get ready this morning with some ports. If you have other bunks that are not business class, you don't get a sink. You have to go to the communal bathroom, which is right outside. And on this side, we've got a little cupboard with hangers. And at the top, we've got some life jackets. Over here, we've got our couch, but we're kind of using it as a, a a storage facility for all our luggage. <laughs> Even though we only have two suitcases and this is all that we live out of, it still feels like we've got too much stuff. But if we do want to sit on the couch, we can look at our lovely TV over here, which we haven't used yet because there's so much stuff to do on this cruise ship. We actually have a little table. I think it's a table, but we haven't figured out how to use it yet. <laughs> we've got working ports, plus we've got a light. We've also got some other lights on this side and the air conditioner, which we can control over here. And then moving on to the bedroom part of our suite, we've each got a nice comfy bed, which we did sleep in already. And I must admit, I slept very well. Normally I can't sleep on a moving vessel or train or plane, but I had one of the best sleeps ever. We have our linen, pillows, pillowcases, and we actually rented blankets for 50 peso downstairs. You get a little slippy that looks like this, and then you can just return your blanket when you're done with it. Should I do a little bed test? Ugh. I mean, they're pretty sturdy. You're not going anywhere. A biggest part is while you're sleeping, you're not hearing any any noise, you're not hearing any rocking or splashing or anything. It's super, super quiet. So it enables you to have a good sleep. And then right next to our bed, we've got some more light switches, which we can control right from our bed. We even have an alarm. We've got like a volume controller. I don't know if we can control maybe the sound of the speaker because we do get announcements in the room. If I lie down, we have some controllers under this light as well. So we've got a port and we've got like a night light. Another perk of business class is we've got one, two, three, four ports and we don't have to use the charging ports outside even though they're only five peso we don't have to wait outside for our devices to charge of course we have some curtains which come in handy at night time and then we've got a gorgeous view of the outside we can look out we can see the beautiful view and there's all these cute little birds that are flying right outside our window but let's show you the rest of the boat And now we're gonna make our way to the fifth floor, which is kind of like our ground level. Hello. Look at this. It's like we're in a fancy hotel, but we're actually cruising along the ocean. <laughs> we could literally be in any country right now. They've got some fancy shops, they've got charging stations, a salon, a clinic, a prayer room. How epic is this? They even have a mini so 
on the ship and they've got loads of stuff they've got plushies they've got water bottles his name is shippy and he's even got the to-go symbol on and if you buy one of him you get a free charge of your phone hello morning. good morning and they've even got merch look at all the merch they've got shirts they've got water bottles umbrellas bags it's like we're in a shopping mall you can go shopping you can have leisure time probably the most popular thing on the entire ship is the charging station so for us because we're in business class we are lucky enough to have charging ports in our room as we said but most people have to stand at this very crowded charging station over here. What's mind blowing is the charge is like five peso for 10 minutes. I mean, it's like for free. <laughs> but I think what happens is people charge and then they stay there and just keep using their phone. It's the most popular thing on the ship, which is so funny because we haven't had any connection for the entire trip because we're in the middle of the ocean. So I don't even know what they're charging it for. Games, maybe? maybe. Are you from Cebu or Manila? Manila. From Manila? Laguna. Laguna. Oh, wow. wow. Nice to meet you. Do you like the boat? You don't like the boat? <laughs> See, there's no Wi-Fi on the boat. Yeah. And now this is the Quick Mart, which is pretty much like the 7-Eleven here on the ship. So we got everything. Snacks, coffee, sugar, juice, noodles, body wash shower gel, anything you can think of, hair gel. I've just seen that there's some disposable undies as well, just in case something happens on the ship. <laughs> just in case something happens. Just in case something happens. You never know. <laughs> so now these are the tourist rooms, which are a different level, and we're gonna hopefully try and get into one of the rooms to show you what it looks like on the inside. A lot of the rooms on each level are down these corridors, and you each have your own specific room. Thank you. Oh wow, which is your room? 49. 49, okay, can I see? <laughs> okay, so these are the <laughs> tourist rooms. How many beds inside? Two? Don't look there. One bed. Hello. <laughs> can I see what the room looks like? Yes. Oh, there's only one bed. Is it comfortable? Good, thank you. Thanks for the thank room you. tour. <laughs> these guys are gonna give us another room tour. <laughs> Why does it smell fishy? <laughs> Okay, there's an open door, let's see. Here's what a normal green value room looks like. So you've got lots of bunk beds, you've got life jackets, and it's really sociable. So this is a chance, if you want to meet some friends, this is how you can do it. Okay. <laughs> Hello. I think these rooms cost as little as 500 peso for the night with breakfast included. I think if you're a solo traveler, especially, this would be so cool. It's kind of like a hostel vibe. Everybody's socializing together, sitting on the beds, they're watching movies, they're chatting, eating snacks. Where are you guys staying? Is this your room? You, you down there? It's a good room? <laughs> Can we go see? A tour? <laughs> Let's go see. These are our hosts for the day. <laughs> We're doing a, we're getting a private tour. Private tour. Is this your bed? Is it comfortable? Thanks Thank for you. showing us. Thank you for showing us. Bye bye. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Wow. There's so many rooms on the ship and the deeper you go in, you realize how big the ship is, how many people are staying here. There's more rooms down here. Oh wow. This is business class. Oh. So this is business class on the lower level and we're on the higher level. I'm not sure what the difference is. <laughs> Should I give them a break? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for right. Now she Thank won't come back. <laughs> We're having a group picture right now. Hi, taking a picture. I think for the next couple of hours, we're just going to relax, enjoy the view, see the islands go by and just take it all in. It has just gone evening and we see lots of ships around us and we can just see the lights of Manila. We are almost there after a 24 hour journey and behind me we have been welcomed by the most beautiful sunset. This has been such an incredible adventure and journey to go on. It has been seamless the entire way through and we paid 3,600 pesos around $60 each for this trip, which I think is definitely worth it because first of all, you get a business class room, you get the entire journey as well, you get accommodation for the night, you get all your meals included, and it's an adventure and activity that you're definitely paying for.